The Mizzou Tiger basketball season was bad enough. Now perhaps more bad news. There are reports out tonight that say Jonathan Williams III is considering transferring. Williams III was one of the bright spots for the Tigers. The 6'8 sophomore averaged 12 points and 7 rebounds a game. Williams was recruited by Frank Haith and assistant Tim Fuller, who have both left the program. Missouri finished the year 9 and 23 and really any thoughts of improvement for next year certainly included Williams playing at Missouri. But again, he may be transferring. Missouri Tiger senior Morgan I will get a few more shots in her college career. Morgan was selected to take part in the three point shootout as part of the final four week in Indianapolis. I set Mizzou and SEC records for three point shooting. That competition will air on ESPN 6 o'clock this Thursday night. The Cardinals and Royals, they'll open up the season in less than a week. Local high school baseball is also underway already. The defending state champion Rockbridge Bruins opening the home season tonight in Columbia. Rockbridge coming in at 6-1 following tournament play in Memphis tonight. Welcoming the Battle Spartans to the Bruins' home field. Rockbridge, big four-run first inning. Eric Hughes with a two-run single to make it 4 nothing. Rockbridge, another run here in the second. Matt Whitholm drives in Logan Tweehouse. Battles Seth Girardi. Launches one deep. That goes over the left field wall, but that was all the Spartans could muster. That one run, Rockbridge wins it 11-1 to one over Battle. The Fulton Hornets on the home diamond welcoming the Tolton Trailblazers. Fulton's Luke Gray on the hill gets out of a jam in the second inning with the strikeout for out number three. Scoreless game until the third inning when Tate Cooper singles to center field. That brings in John Steinmetz. Tolton goes on to win it 6-5 over Fulton. Home opener for the North Callaway Thunderbirds hosting the Blair Oaks Falcons and it was Fish Fry Night at the ballpark. North Callaway Superintendent, along with T-Bird basketball coach Matt Thomas, said this is their version of Rod's Big Old Fish. Ethan Rackers shoots one down the third base line for Blair Oaks. Falcons scored one in the first, four in the second, five in the third, and three more here in the fourth inning. Bryce Pritchett drives in another one. Blair Oaks rolls on to the 13-1 win over North Callaway. The Helias Crusaders playing down in Orlando, Florida at the Walt Disney ESPN Sports Complex. They'll play two more games tomorrow, another game on Wednesday. They won this one over an academy from New York. I'll let Kermit Miller pronounce that school for you later. South Callaway wins over Moberly 8-2. California downing Russellville 10-4. It was Eugene beating Iberia in baseball. Vienna edges past St. Elizabeth 10-9. Jamestown a good win over New Bloomfield. That was the first game of the year for Jamestown. Crocker 10-1 over Osage. St. James beats New Haven by 10. High school soccer in Columbia tonight. Battle entertaining the Helias Lady Crusaders. First half, Sydney Clay Thermos goes in alone 1-0. And look who the new assistant coach is for Helias. Recognize that guy? Former soccer analyst here at KRCG, Mike Roberts. Maddie Lammers finds the net on the free kick. Wonder if her dad Craig may have taught her back in the YMCA soccer days. Battle gets a late goal, but Helias holds on to win it 2-1 over the Spartans. Boonville, 2-1 winners, same score. That's over Hannibal. And a beautiful day for tennis. Henry Thompson's Jeff City Jays hosting Rolla. JC led by five strong seniors. Very talented team this year. Starting with number one doubles, state qualifier David Clausen teaming up with Spencer Bone. Clausen with the winner at the net. Here is Bone with a couple of nice volleys for the point. Jays win it 8-2 at number one doubles. They win 8-0 and number two doubles and 8-0 and three doubles. A 9-0 win as a team. 